you talked about toxicity a little bit, and that's pe something people are concerned about when it comes to any fish product is mercury and, and right. other toxins. Right. Is there a similar concern with algae? Right. So uh, I'll just uh, it reminds me of an article that was published, I think, in Natural Geographic. They harvested the fish off of the coast of New York. They analyzed it for, uh, for pharmaceuticals. Okay. And then they created the picture of the fish from the relevant tablets of the pharmaceuticals they found. And the conclusion was, if you have a headache, don't eat Tylenol, eat a fish. The Tylenol is in the fish. Okay, so, mm -hmm. uh, so to answer your question, of course, it's an open system, it's an open pond, you have to have control points every place around the, the throughout the growth and harvest and, and extraction process. But the nice thing about it, you can, you can, you can do that. If you were just grabbing fish and squeezing them, you don't know what the fish ate yesterday. You don't know where it went. Maybe it was swimming next to a chemical plant that that specific day released all the mercury down the drain. Mm -hmm. So I think that the fact that it's a controlled environment gives you the opportunity to make sure that all the contaminants that people are rightly so worried about are controlled and monitored.